1045, the team, you're home for New York sports. Uh, we uh, we got to go to uh, New York Daily News' is Christy Acker right now. Just kind of just continue the saga. I, I know you're probably sick of hearing this question. You probably hear it everywhere you go right now, but what's the latest on Noah Syndergaard? Um, he is heading to Los Angeles to have a second opinion on his part, uh, torn lat muscle. Um, he's going to go see Dr. Neil Artosh. I can never say his name correctly, unfortunately. And, um, you know, it looks it's going to be a long time before he's pitching again. Um, you know, the, the the best estimates were two months. The most realistic ones I heard from doctors were three to six months. Three to six months. I mean, that's a huge blow to the Mets. How are they going to even try to recover with a guy like Syndergaard out for that long of a period? Well, it's tough. I mean, you know, that's a huge blow. Um, but you've got Jacob deGrom going to the mound today. I think he's proven to be a pretty tough pitcher for them, pretty good pitcher for them. Get Matt Harvey back on track, and then you've got two good starters. You know, see what Zach Wheeler can give you for at least a couple more months, and then you hope that uh, Matt Steven Matz comes back, I guess. I mean, aside from going out and getting another pitcher, that's all they can do. Christy Acker with us right now from the uh, New York Daily News on 104.5 The Team. So, Christy, this it almost feels like Matt Harvey <clears throat> all over again. Is there a strain in the relationship between Noah Syndergaard and the New York Mets? know that there's a strain um i think it's pretty typical for a player to go get a second opinion um you know your agent's gonna want you to so um i don't think it's that bad i think there's definitely some people who are a little annoyed with him for not taking his mri when they asked him to um but you know i don't think there's any more strain than there was when he didn't sign his contract this spring Fair point. <laughs> and heard that you may have been getting emails blaming Matt Harvey for the injury to Noah Syndergaard? You know, Mets fans are pretty passionate, and they've come up with some crazy theories. And one guy thought it's Matt Harvey's fault because I guess we blame Matt Harvey for everything these days. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So so uh, let's blame Matt Harvey. What 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 did Matt Harvey do to you on Cespedes, and, and how long till, till the slugger is back? I don't know. Maybe he has voodoo dolls or something. I'm not <laughs> sure. Um, he's doing rehab right now. Um, he's not doing baseball activities. So, you know, I would say he might. He they they're saying he might be able ready to come off when his time on the DL is up, which I think is the tenth. So we'll see. I mean, with the Mets, I always add a week or two. So, um, you know, maybe middle of May. Christy, uh, Christy Acker of New York Daily News with us right now, 104.5 The Team. So it, it's weird because going into this season, I thought one of the biggest problems the Mets were going to have was David Wright. We haven't said his name very often because everyone else is hurt. Um, I don't know if I've missed it, but is is there any update on David Wright? No. I asked last night. There is no update on David Wright. There's nothing new. But there's so many injuries with the Mets. I feel like it's Dr. Acker joining us here on the phone line. <laughs> She's giving her medical diagnosis. Uh, how about Tim Tebow? He's not hurt that we know. What's the talk of Tim Tebow? Is he going to move up in the farm system? Is he going to stay at the Columbia Firefly level for the rest of the season? To tell you the truth, that honestly has been the least of my concerns <laughs> the last week. You know, I... I, I don't really keep up with what the minor leaguers are doing, you know, unless they're at AAA where I have to keep an eye on them. Um, I think you'll see him move up probably. Um, you know, he's someone that they've invested their time and their money in. And, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if you see him move up and, you know, at a time when it's convenient for the Mets. Christy, you don't know how um, how happy you just made Gaz because Gaz hates talking about Tim Tebow. So the fact that you're like, I don't pay attention to him. I you, I think I think Gaz might send you candy and flowers. Yeah, I made my day. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I, you know, I honestly just can't. It's you know, I, he's so far away. <laughs> I mean, I I had my film spring training. <laughs> Chrissy Acker with us. So, Chrissy, before we let you go, just uh, just curious as to somebody who sees this team every day. I mean, obviously the fans think the sky is falling. Are, are they still a, a playoff potential team, or is there just too much to overcome? It depends on how quickly some of these guys get back. I mean, if they get back, you know, Flores is getting close. Duda is getting close. Well, he was getting close until he got shut down. So it depends on how quickly they get these guys back or if they go out and get some help. I mean, you know, the bullpen is shaky. The rotation's taking a hit now. You know, they need to, in my opinion, make a move for a pitcher if they want to keep those hopes alive. Wow. Can you imagine, like, can you imagine thinking that before the season that the Mets would need a pitcher? No. Um, you know, what were the odds, really? I mean, I think I actually said that 
many times. What are the odds that they'll get hurt again? Well, I guess I should have taken them. <laughs> Christy Ackert, New York Daily News. We appreciate your time, and uh, th- thank you for not taking Tim Tebow too seriously. Uh, Gaz is, you made Gaz's day, honestly. Yeah, it's the end of the show. I think it should be. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy to do that.